Hello everyone. In this video today, let's ask this question to our tarot cards. Where is this relationship going? This reading is meant for those <clears throat> sorry, who are perhaps in the relationship already or just began a relationship and you want to know where is it going. Um, the person who requested for this reading they actually are in the relationship and they just want to know, you know, right now everything is okay, but where is it going? What will happen in the future? So that sort of reading we're doing today. Okay, I have four different tarot card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person, think of a relationship and choose a deck or decks and take your time, please. have chosen your deck. Let's start with Yukio deck, deck number one. Where is this relationship going, yeah? I'll pull <clears throat> three cards to look into the future, what happened in the future. Three cards for the present. And three cards for the future. And one as an advice. Okay, so in the past we have, uh, you know, some sort of change, a situation where perhaps regarding this relationship you, have, you had some sort of, or something changed, basically it shows either competition in, in getting this person or uh, lots of action, lots of kind of action together with that person. It can be even that uh, your relationship with this person was not very good, fights and things like that, you know, but then things changed. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune talks about change. Something was, mm, something changed, something happened. And now what happened, we will see in the present situation. In present situation, we still see uh, you being emotional about uh, the past. You remembering the past, you know, it can be that this love affair is very dramatic, very difficult. For me, Ten of Wands is a pretty difficult card, like a burden, like this relationship might feel like a burden, even if it's a good one. Six of Cups uh, can talk about, uh, you know, that the best time is in the past and that past, those memories are basically haunting you. They're like burden for you and you can't stop being emotional about it. Male or female, I think you are the cup person. Like, around the situation, you're acting like a cup person. That means very emotional, very, um, like, I imagine... Lots of thinking, lots of, you know, maybe it's very emotional relationship and it's basically a, a big, it's difficult for you to carry it, to handle it emotionally or so to say. Now what will happen, where is it going in the future, what will happen here? We have uh, a situation where you might be not happy 
three of swords can talk about uh, a sad sadness and the fact that you're not happy about something something is you know is pestering you in your mind in your heart something doesn't satisfy about this relationship maybe you you cannot trust the person maybe some past issue you cannot forget maybe um, there is a decision to be made maybe it's a love triangle and uh, decision will be made in the future a good decision yeah the decision that is ethical moral and right and uh, I don't see that this relationship is actually very, very happy. There is lots of um, self-conflict going on. Like, you can't decide what's the right thing to do. You are kind of lost in those emotions and those in, in that everything. And I'm not seeing that other person. I'm seeing you and your thoughts. Like, you are... I can't see another person at all here. Like, it's your conflict with yourself. Yeah, now let's see what is advice here. King of Pentacles. Well, if you're thinking about a man uh, and you're not being able to receive some sort of emotional response that you expect from that person, it can be that it's uh, this is a person that is very practical. Maybe he um, basically is your colleague or someone from work. They don't know that you like them. I know it's an ongoing relationship. Uh, if it's not the case, then it means that this person is focused on finances, work, and uh, cannot provide you with lots of romance because they're not capable of it or they're not focusing on it. And um, it can also advise that if you're practical with this person, you might be happier. Let's say if you put your expectations a little bit down, you might be happy more because you will tune in more with that person who is more practical. So, or it can say that just have a financial relationship, practical relationship with this person and you will not feel this, this pain because, again, expectation will go down. Um, so, let's see what kind of decision you will make. Or what will change after you will make this decision? Well, Queen of Pentacles woman around money nine of pentacles is of course work business and ten of pentacles is financial decision you might actually make the right decision in a way that you will understand that with this person only professional relationship is possible only practical professional relationship is possible even if you're married to this person let's see even even then, if you do not, uh, if you feel that this, there's no love with your husband or wife um, after many years of marriage, it can be that actually you might be happier if you focus on, you know, the house, the shopping, the some sort of maybe your own work career. With this person, you talk only about work, only like work relationship practical um not emotional not that sort of thing so yeah this is our reading number one now let's move on to our reading number two this is our reading number two it's cosmic tarot deck the question is, where is this relationship going? Where is this relationship going? It's If you're in a relationship with this person, you want to see what will happen in the future. So we will just pull cards for past. Present. And future an advice card okay so these three cards talk about the past we're just kind of analyzing the situation then we'll make a conclusion so Prince of Wands Prince of Swords and the chariot card 
Okay, we have uh, basically princes here, wands and swords. They might talk about uh, some sort of communications, um, communications regarding work, communications regarding some sort of intellectual type, um, feels formal. Uh, it can also too jacks are kind of not a good not a good combination it might talk about lots of distress and like ill situation happening the chariot card can talk about separation let's say that they uh, travel somewhere far away or you traveled and this distance the separation separated you with each other um, the chariot sometimes can also talk about uh, being very determined to, to be in a relationship with the person and kind of pushing through it, you know. And it can be unhealthy sometimes. Yeah, well, Six of Cups is uh, a card of love, but this love is, it can be also in the past, nostalgic type of love. Look, and being in love with that person, thinking about that person a lot, uh, to the to the extent that your head hurts and you can't sleep and things like that. Basically, overthinking. It can be missing the old times. So we have that sort of situation. Now, present situation is, as you can see, it can be separation, loss and mourning by, of losing that person. These people at the funeral, and there's kind of the sense of like mourning, like at the funeral. So, and the strength is you're pushing through it. Um, you're trying to to keep up with it. You're trying to <clears throat> be patient about it, and you still have a hope that this person will come back, and you're still dreaming about that person. Now, about the future, what will happen? Okay. Look, the magician card. I think this person is a magician. Um, they are a very popular person. They are very um, kind of, you know, special. Maybe everybody has a question on them or they are very special somehow or they have a charisma that a normal person doesn't have. Uh, there is something about them that uh, they kind of hypnotize people. They make everything very charismatic about them and they just have that about them it's just their uh, how they're made their astrology their maybe a, a birth chart uh, some special numerology that they have in their birth i don't know that that's the sort of soul that they are and i'm getting that they w might come into your house here with the ten of cups they might visit you you might meet them in your house they might visit you they might see you and with the tower card it might be of course that this visit is unexpected and it can also be uh, something will be clarified during that meeting so let's see what will be clarified what will happen after this tower experience Oh, Princess of Wands. Nothing of... I feel nothing will be clarified uh, as such. So this card can be talking about disappointment, about all your hopes being a disappointment when you meet. Uh, you will understand that maybe you cannot wait for this person anymore because maybe they... Uh, Again, I don't want to say, but yeah, maybe they have kids, maybe they're married, that sort of situation. Maybe they will just exchange messages, uh, some sort of about, about work, formal messages. And uh, overall, it will end in inaction, yeah? Two of Swords is inaction. And uh, as we can see, um... It doesn't seem to me that you're in a relationship <clears throat> because of tarot card and the three of swords. Both can talk about uh, separation by distance. So I, if you're in the relationship, it can be that um, you're, it's a long distance relationship, yeah. And 
that these things are basically happening uh, like a long distance and there is waiting hope the star card talks about hope and the strength card talks definitely about uncomfortable situation patience and uh, trying to balance out trying to deal with loss in a he heroic way okay so let's see what is advice for you regarding this person and this situation queen of pentacles Queen of Pentacles, basically a core card position in this, in this, you know, core card in this position. It can talk about, well, there is a female you don't know about. Well, it's because of her. This relationship might not be moving. She can be a house, uh, housewife, uh, their wife. It can talk about uh, the fact that you should be... Uh, focusing on yourself, on, on your health, on your work, on your money. And again, grounding is important with pentacles. Grounding and taking care of your health, eating grounding foods that grow in the earth, uh, potatoes and things. <laughs> also, it can point to be more practical. So it's all... Uh, I would say hope, yeah, dreaming, lots of mental activity, I would say memories and uh, head hurt, headache because of those memories, overthinking and hope, everything is focused on the mental level. So it can be that you lose your touch with the reality when you are um, so active mentally. So this card, pentacle card, can talk about the need to be practical, see what proof do you have, let's say that this relationship can work, where is the proof, see what you have, like facts, yeah, and based on those facts, then you can make some sort of conclusion about how will this relationship go, but here, um... We have that sort of situation. Let's see what does this person actually think and feel about you. What do they think about you? The fool. Just someone uh, they met and someone they had fun with. Um, not really attached. They can think that you are very open-minded and free person. Maybe not very reliable. Maybe they think you played with them or something like that. Now what do they feel about you? There is love, actually, there is some sort of um, that they like you, and uh, we definitely have, it can be that they want you, even, you know, that they're happy with you, but what, uh, what action are they willing to take about this, about you? Well, here we have uh, some sort of planning and some sort of uh, kind of action but I'm um, with the ones it's growth it's kind of growth yeah they are thinking of taking growing this relationship but I'm not sure if it's about love part or about the practical part that they want to grow do they want to grow this relationship romantically the world they think they've already grown it romantically. They think they feel that they've reached the top that they were expecting to reach. The world card is like the last card of the major arcana. So it's the complete satisfaction, it's complete ending, and it's the, I like to call it, um, be full belly. Um, full belly, satisfied belly, like someone had their food, and there is no more, more space for that food. So it can be that... Uh, they're satisfied with the, th the way things are uh, in that uh, case, in that sort of, um, in that way, yeah? And they're satisfied with the th way things are already. The world card, they're dancing with joy already. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's see what's stopping them. To take action we have a child uh, maybe they have kids maybe they have responsibilities maybe they have hobbies maybe they have some sort of um, some sort of like what they like or what they believe in or usually it's a child or 
some hobby that they are sacrificing for um, or want to sacrifice for. Okay, so this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. Okay, this is our deck number three. <clears throat> the question is, where is this relationship going? Where is this relationship going? To, so to have the answer, we first will pull cards for past, present and future. What happened in the past? What's happening in the present? What will happen in the future? Advice. What was happening in the past? Okay, in the past we have... Uh, Well, maybe this person came, maybe there was a meeting with this person, the Knight of Wands, can be someone coming, um, there was a moment of inaction, let's see, nothing was happening, then it started happening, <clears throat> things changed, so maybe this person came to visit... So let's see, lots of action, lots of communication, lots of some sort of talking, discussions going on. <clears throat> we have that sort of situation. And uh, overall, happy energy, but uh, lots of talking, lots of socializing, lots of going, doing, um, being happy for, for a moment about this person, let's say coming and meeting them. But then it seems like also, like you discuss with them, negotiate with them, lots of lots of talking. So let's see what is happening right now. Okay, so maybe we have uh, two kings and an uh, ace of cups. In this case, we might see, uh, we might think that, um, well, there is. Right now, some sort of feelings are developing, you know, uh, through work. You know, let's say you met this person through a work situation or academic, some sort of situation. And uh, you're actively communicating with them, talking to them. You might be pulling off some sort of business deals with them, attending meetings with them. Uh, and... Uh, and we see the Ace of Cups appearing suddenly in those work cards. So it can talk that in that work situation you start feeling unexpected feelings of love towards that person or some sort of um, happiness or joy being around that person. So, yeah, well, we see two men, of course. <clears throat> it can be that there are two men right now or it's just a situation... Uh, let's say if it's a work situation, it can be like two men are there. And, uh, well, I would say with the Ace of Cups that right now uh, something is going on. Something is starting to develop emotionally. So let's see what will happen in the future. So we see cards, Five of Swords and Hermit and Nine of Co uh, Coins. <clears throat> Well, Five of Swords is a card of anger, a card of um, hurt, a card of insult, a card of some sort of humiliation. The Hermit is um, basically a person who's trying to run in the bush, <laughs> avoid the relationship, is shy. He, he, is, um, he wants to be on his own, let's say, because he wants to think, he wants to do. Um, <clears throat> some sort of research. Uh, 
in the relationship it can sometimes be a person who is like a traitor who you cannot trust you know because they want to be alone and they are not willing to um, <clears throat> sacrifice commit i would say commit to this relationship it can be that the hermit is you actually that you will um because of the shyness or because of fear of let's say rejection or something you will decide to stay in that um financial type of relationship that's how it seems to me I'm not seeing here, um, I'm seeing the beginning of feelings coming out here with the Ace of Cups, but then I'm seeing also these cards are not very good. Uh, they look like the person is shy and they are just afraid that the, someone will say something to them and um, they will m might choose to, you know, just be satisfied with the way things are, let's say with money and work and all this... Um, Let's see if you're doing well in this job. It might be like a good compensation. Because this card can talk about a rich person, but a lone person, yeah? Independent person. So I'm not seeing a, a couple here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a couple here. And love and family and dating, I'm not seeing it here. Um, okay, let's see what is the advice for you the Empress well again the Empress can be a woman a strong woman strong fe female figure standing in between you two his wife his mom your mom your wife um, if you're a male what else well it's basically if you're a mother yourself, you should be that mother. Um, for me, it's a very much of a human card for some reason. I know it means growth and nurturing, and it can, we can see grow and nurture this relationship. But for some reason, it feels like a female, human. Yeah. yeah, so we have these cards. Uh, okay, we have this female. I don't know, maybe the, the man is married. She's talking to them a lot. He might love her, you know, because he is the king of cups. And we have devil card. Devil card can sometimes mean about a uh, dangerous situation emotionally, tricky. And this card can talk about later disappointment. Yeah, and so devil, devil is basically can talk about a wrong, something wrong being in a relationship, something secret, something like a sin, yeah. Um, so it can be that it's unhealthy kind of love, it's unhealthy attraction. Um, and it can be that with devil actually there's some mutual attraction going, but four of cups shows that it you might get bored of it very soon and they might get bored of it very soon let's see you can talk all, all, also about sexual part of the relationship and uh, that this can happen but if you follow this you might soon be bored and kind of not want it at all something like that so basically the message here is choose your battles, yeah? Choose your battles. Do you want this or not? Uh, knowing what's happening. Okay. So this was our reading number three. Let's just pull one card, see what they think and feel about you. What do they think about you? Ten of Swords. 
can be that <clears throat> they think that you're absent. They think mm, that you're, let's say, you quit the job. They might think that you're very much distraught. Distraught. Um, let's say upset about something, going through something very difficult, um, that sort of situation. Like, they think that you're struggling. And what do they feel about you? <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Well, it shows kind of like love. It can show like uh, that they love you, that they want you. But also it can mean that they know that you're married. Uh, that sort of situation. They know that you have a family. But feelings overall, uh, if uh, despite the family part, they are um, very good. That they, yes, they love you, they like you 100%. <clears throat> what other actions going to be towards you? Five of Wands. Definitely there are going to be some action, but we don't know if it's Mm, just like fighting for you or is it just arguments with you hmm. so let's see they might talk to you to end something or to finish something or to clarify something or to trans uh, transform something um Yeah, I'm not getting a good feeling with Emperor card. It's more like they will shout at you and try to tell you what to do. You know, they will uh, want to put that full stop at the end of the sentence. Like they will try to um, basically um, lead the whole process here as the Emperor. They're very... They think that their decision will be the last, their say will be the last, or something like that. Okay. So, this was our reading number three. Now, let's move on to our reading number four. And of course, I'm thinking this can also not necessarily be that this is work situation because I see the work cards, I immediately create this work situation. It can be this is a marriage situation, like you're married to this person, you're in a relationship with this person and there is another man coming into the game and you fall in love with this man and, uh, and nothing is happening, you know, with that man because of course, and uh, the advice also says that you might you might go for it, but in the end it's disappointment, uh, something like that. Okay, so let's move on to reading number five. Number four, sorry. So, where is this relationship going? Past, present, future. And advice. Past. Okay, so in the past we have uh, now I'm seeing many things here. It can be actually in the past it was a lot of fun, like uh, lots of action. Uh, maybe we met through sports, through dance, and. Uh, you know, that sort of situation. This card can talk about yoga, 
or contortion, things like that. And here also we see a fun situation, dancing and um, partnership, some sort of very fun type of. The chariot is uh, symbolizing that the action was inspired by lots of enthusiasm and lots of uh, very positive emotion. So we, in one way we can see fun, in the other way we can see, you know, there was fun, but then it was um, stuck in, in that, you know, nothing was developing after the past. And again, look, present situation, you want to start this relationship, you, you feel from... Like, there is a start in this relationship. There is this energy going. Like, yes, yes, you know, that sort of energy. But the Ten of Swords is like, it's ending as soon as it's starting. Maybe it's a um, relationship that started very nice. It's starting to fade off as well, slowly, somehow. But we have... Um, Someone like proposing right now, proposing. Nevertheless. So I don't know if it's the other person also proposing, like the second person proposing. Like uh, with one person the relationship is over, but the second person is coming and proposing. So it's like, uh, don't be sad, there is another one. Um, and what will happen in the future? We have, uh, um, how to say, getting back together with that person. and But we have a not very good influence, I think, by that person. The person can be a little bit... Um, how to say... Um, aggressive or very um, dominating like I don't like here we cannot see you only male energy here going <clears throat> it's all, all everything he will decide he will tell what to do what not to do so basically if you agree with his terms then if you listen to him he'll be happy you not will not be happy maybe but Yes, then this relationship can work out in a way. <clears throat> but you have to, he wants to, again, take the lead. He wants to tell you what to do. It's a little bit like a, mm, belonging to another person, that sort of feeling. Significator, Temperance, Moon. And, well, the Moon card appears. You know, you, Significator, might be uh, very patient and kind of wanting to find the best solution for this to work. But the Moon card can talk about uh, something that you see. It's not like it is, you know, <clears throat> sorry, it might be that you think the person is very lovely and nice and loving, but it might be actually, uh, he might be hiding a secret, or he might not show his real nature, and devil and king of wands, I don't really like that combination, for me it seems like the person is dangerous actually, and kind of, you know, very, like, violent, has violent tendencies, and the moon card can talk about like a warning that uh, maybe you should wait until you uh, like sort of um, wait a little bit, distance yourself from this relationship and uh, wait until you have another perspective of this relationship. Wait until you see differently. You might see something then about this person, about this relationship that you would, would not... 
um, you wouldn't have started this relationship if you would have known that there was something unpleasant about this person. And what is advice? The star card. Well, the star is kind of hope, but it's also waiting and it's also healing. And for me, it, it talks about time and waiting, to be honest. It's about not rushing, not pushing, just relaxing and kind of having a hope. And prayer, maybe praying also might help, or meditating or visualizing. Um, you might get what you want, but not maybe in a way that you expect and not at the time that you expect. So I think it might take some time. Maybe you need healing right now. Maybe because there is a possibility that you've ended one relationship and then another one started and um, this person is willing to kind of take you in, be with you. But this is worrying, the moon card. So what do they think about you? Knave of Swords. Well, they might think about a little bit of a conflicting personality, a person who is not afraid to speak up, and a person who is not afraid <clears throat> to look, um, how to say, to be themselves in a way. But it also, it also can talk about a person who is a little bit, um, you know, rough in their speech or blunt in their speech, that sort of thing. Um, they are a good communicator, but they might be a little bit on a rougher side, yeah. Also, it can talk about profession that you do. Let's say if you do something with sharp tools like needles, knitting pins, or let's say knives. Let's say if you work with designing clothes where you use scissors and it can be hairdresser, by the way. It can be um, tailor. It can be... Um, designer, it can be dentist, it can be carpenter, it can be something related with sharp tools. So they might just see you through your profession, what you do. Now what do they feel? Three of Cups. Well, uh, they feel definitely uh, they like you and uh, they might be even loving you, being good friends with you. And uh, they might secretly even like you, you know, the female Pope. They might have you as their secret crush, you know, this person. Okay, and what are they intending to do? Queen of Swords. They're going to offer you something. They're going to offer you something and order you something. Um, so definitely I think it's assertive action. They're going to, um, you know, come to you, offer you something, and uh, basically uh, put some sort of limit in that. Like, you, I'm giving you this, but uh, you give me this. I'm feeling that sort of thing. They can do it through a female. You know? They can, yeah, do it through a female. Okay, so this was our reading number four. I'm really sorry about uh, them being not so good. How to say, not so positive. I guess, you know, it's very general and many, many people watch them and who knows, you know, you know, what kind of situations are there in their life and what's happening. So this is our reading and I hope that who needed this reading the most, it resonated with them. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next time. Have a great night and a great day. Bye.